Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Uconnect hands-free kit in the Jeep Wrangler JK. Very easy to install, plug and play. We're going to go ahead and install the module behind the climate controls. We have plug and play wiring utilizing the factory radio plug. This is going to mate with the included microphone. So this will be the microphone for voice commands and for hands-free calling. You can route this really anywhere you want. It does have double-sided 3M tape um, to, so you can put it in a, in a great location. At the end of the install, we're gonna run the uh, OBD Genie programmer. This is gonna program the vehicle's computer to enable the hands-free feature in your vehicle. Again, this kit here is designed for the 130S RES radio, the 430 RBZ, and the 430N RHB. It also works in the older Jeeps, the 07 to 10. It works in the RES and the REN as well. So let me show you how it installs. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove this base model radio in the Wrangler JK. Very easy to do. Go ahead and pull out your liner up on top. There's one seven millimeter screw up here. Come over here to your knee bolster and pull down on the panel. Just held in with retaining clips. Once you do that, just kind of set it out of the way. There's one seven millimeter screw here and one over here at the top. So we're gonna go ahead and pull those two out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a pry tool. You can also use a flathead screwdriver. We're just gonna pop this out just a little bit. Now, what you're really gonna to wanna to do at this point is use a screwdriver. You notice if the camera can get in here, there's a little red clip right here. You gotta pull up on that little red clip and then sneak your hand in, push the tab on the side and this unplugs. I can give you kind of a better look here. So this clip is down. You get to lift up on the clip and press this part of the connector here to remove the window switch. Um, so now that that's out, there's one more screw in here, seven millimeter. At this point, you can just grab a hold of the dash. Um, just four screws that held it in place. Now you can just pull it out like this, set it aside. Now at this point, there's only four screws that hold in your radio. These four are also seven millimeter. Go ahead and slide it out of place and then just disconnect the two connectors in the back. One is your main radio plug and one is your AM FM antenna. Um, the vehicles that have factory installed Bluetooth Uconnect, you'll see another plug, a uh, smaller plug. And then those of you who have factory installed satellite radio will notice a curry colored FACRA plug behind your radio. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and pull the climate controls back. Um, just pops out of place once you have the dash out. Um, and your module can actually go anywhere behind there. It does have two screw holes here. If you do decide to um, you know, mount it in that way, you can use zip ties or whatnot. Um, but basically this is gonna sit right back here. And then we're gonna run our wiring up to behind the radio cavity. We're also gonna run our microphone. Again, to make it a nice clean install, I would definitely use some zip ties just to kind of get it nice and secure back here. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna go ahead and just have it um, just sitting back there. This then just pops in right over it. So now you have this long loom. Again, another great time for a zip tie. You can kind of coil the, the excess cable together, put a zip tie on it, um, and then, you know, tuck it in behind the radio cavity. 
Um, we're gonna go ahead and come in underneath this metal brace. Like so. Now is a good time to coil, you know, not before. So coil it up, zip tie it, go ahead and have it sitting back here. Um, then what you can do is go ahead and plug your factory radio connector into the female port. You hear it snap into place. These are the two connectors that will now go into your uh, factory radio, the Uconnect factory radio. You have your main radio plug here, and then this one here is for Uconnect, the microphone. So speaking of the microphone, we have that here. Again, you can install this anywhere you want. Typically what I'll do is I'll come in behind the little metal bracket here, the radio bracket. All right, now that we have the microphone wiring behind the metal brace, I'm just gonna route the microphone back under here. For the purpose of this video, you could just mount it right here. Now you can actually mount it anywhere you want. If you take a look over here, you can actually run the wiring. You could put the microphone here. You could put it up here. Just tuck the wiring behind the panel. Um, so any of these locations along your dash uh, will work just fine. So uh, now that that's installed, I'm going to get a little cleaning cloth and, you know, wipe this up here just to make sure there's no armor all or anything. And that way this will adhere nice and strong. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the vehicle in the run position. We're going to install our OBD Genie programmer into the OBD2 port. Once we see the green light, we can remove it. It will no longer be needed. We're going to shut the vehicle off for about a minute and then start it back up. All right, we put the Wrangler JK um, into the run position, the key. Now we can go ahead and insert our OBD Genie programmer. You'll see a series of lights illuminate on the bottom. What we're waiting for is the solid green light. All right, now that we have the green light illuminated, we can go ahead and remove it from the OBD2 port. We won't need it anymore. All right, now that we went ahead and programmed the vehicle, we're ready to install our new radio. This happens to be the uh, 130S RES radio with the foam button. So we're gonna go ahead and just plug in all the cables. Go ahead and install our four screws here and then button up our dash. All right, now we got our dash all buttoned up and in its place. Let's go ahead and turn the vehicle on and check it out. Cataracts cause an ophthalmologist. At Premier Men's Medical Center, our doctors specialize in EV and PD. So you might let it run for about 10 seconds and press your phone button. Uconnect phone, ready. You connect phone setup. Select one of the following. Device pairing, confirmation prompts, select phone, 
Select audio device, language, emergency, towing assistance, SMS incoming message announcement, phone book download, voice training, or reset. Device pairing. Do you want to pair a device, delete a device, or list paired devices? Pair a device. Refer to www.uconnectphone.com for a list of supported Bluetooth devices. Please say a four digit PIN number. One, two, three, four. PIN code one, two, three, four. Is this correct? Yes. Please say the name of the device after the beep. Doug's phone. Adding. Doug's phone. Is this correct? Yes. Assign a priority level between one and seven. One is the highest priority. One. Doug's phone. Set to priority one. Is this correct? Yes. Start pairing procedure on device. See device manual for instructions. So you notice here on your phone, go to Uconnect. Enter the pin that you told the system before and hit pair. Pairing complete. Now you'll notice that you connect is connected. So now you can utilize um, hands-free calling right here in your vehicle. All you have to do is just press the phone button. All right, now that um, my phone is completely paired to the system and it downloaded my phone book, calling is very easy. Uh, if you call someone, all you have to do is just press the phone button. Ready. Call. Please say the name. Mom. Would you like to call? Mom. At home or mobile? Mobile. Calling? Mom. Mobile, is this correct? Yes. Calling. It's as easy as, it, as that, guys. You just simply push the button. Once it downloads your phone book, you may be able to make and receive calls as much as you want. Really, really cool feature. All right, one more feature I wanted to show you guys before we wrap things up is Bluetooth streaming audio. So this actually supports Bluetooth streaming audio. As long as your radio is a 2011 or higher build, um, you'll be able to uh, take advantage of Bluetooth streaming audio. It's very easy. Go on your phone once it's paired and go to Pandora, Spotify, whatever you want, and simply just play the music you wanna to listen to. And then under the disc aux button, you'll see BT. So you'll be able to listen to your music wirelessly right here through your radio. Such an awesome feature here from infotainment.com. We do this and so much more here at infotainment.com. We can get you any available factory radio for your Jeep Wrangler JK. Um, we just demonstrated how the Uconnect hands-free kit works. We do Sirius satellite radio. Um, we even do leather, uh, catskin leather seating in the Wrangler JK. We also paired with obdgenie.com as I showed before with that programmer. They offer a whole bunch of different really cool programmers for your Jeep Wrangler. So come check us out, infotainment.com. Thanks for watching.